In this lesson, we're going to learn a little bit more about variables and see how they're used, and even get a little glimpse at the Robot Basic Simulated Robot. In the past, we've drawn some lines and used them to draw triangles. Robot Basic has some special commands that make it easier to draw shapes. For example, there is a rectangle shape. With rectangle, you have to give it the coordinates of the upper left-hand corner and the coordinates of the lower right-hand corner. For example, if we gave it 10, 30, and then we gave it 200, 100, when we run that program, it will draw a, a rectangle with the upper left-hand corner being at coordinates 10, 30, and the lower right-hand corner being 200, 100. So it's over 10, down 30, it's over 200, over 300, or over 200, down 100. Now there's lots of things we can do. For example, we might set the line width to something like 5 and make a thicker line. We could change the colors using set color just like before. Maybe make it red. But we have other options. For instance, instead of using set color here, we can put comma red here and it will do the same thing. The nice thing about this is you can add a second number if you want. For instance, blue. The first red will be the outside color of the rectangle. The second variable here, or second constant in this case, will control the inside color. So this will give us a red outside with a blue inside. This same organization system, that is the top left-hand corner and the bottom right-hand corner, also works for circle. In this case, it will draw a circle or an ellipse that fills the box defined by these coordinates. So with the same coordinates, we get a circle that fits in the same position. Let's erase everything, start from scratch, and look at an easier way to do this. What if we could just make a rectangle in which we gave it the starting coordinates, x and y, and some width and some height? Well, this would work, but the second coordinate would actually be the width plus x. So if you had the width, you're going to go over so far to get to the x, and then whatever the width is, to get to the rest of the coordinate. And then y, or the height, plus y, so that we end up with the upper left-hand corner and the lower right-hand corner. But we can specify it. For instance, if we wanted it to be at position 100, 150, and we wanted its width to be 50. Let's make it a tall, thin one, so we'll make the height equal to 100. Then, when it does the rectangle, it will produce this particular rectangle using these coordinates, these systems, this width, this height. But we won't have to worry about trying to figure out where the coordinates are. It'll do it for us by simply adding the numbers together. Let's run it and see. Notice how easy the variables make it if we want to make changes. For example, suppose we wanted the same rectangle, but we wanted the width to be 300. We just change that one variable, and now we see a wide rectangle. So in this case, 
let's do some things. Let's suppose we wanted first a rectangle at 200 and the y position at 300. We wanted its width to be 300 and its height to be perhaps 50. Then let's suppose we want to draw a circle. We could say I want it to be at 200 the Y position to be at 100 the width to be 200 and the height to be 100 let's run that well we first got to put in circle at x comma y comma width plus x and height plus y in this case notice that I accidentally made the x a capital and since that's a different variable we got the error let's run the error again so you can see it the error says variable not initialized since we don't have a variable capital X it gave us the, the error let's put in a lowercase x and we see the circle and the rectangle just like we expected let's add another position here that says let's make a line from 500 comma 100 600 and 300 if we run this we'll see a line perhaps we'll move well that's that's probably sufficient but let's make these a little easier to see so we'll go to the beginning of our program and put the line width of 5 run the program again and we get these very uh, bold figures that make it easier for us to see so your first assignment is to type in this program and get it working and then we're going to do some modifications for it so don't erase it but pause the video so you can read this and type in the program make sure it's doing what we expect